Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question or perform a demo. How to create SQL Server Profiler Type Login in SSIS Package. So let's uh, go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or Bids uh, and create a package. So in my case I have already created a package called Package 1 and I want to enable the login and uh, let's go to the uh, Control Flow Pan and uh, right click. So the very first option we see it, it is called Login and the uh, other option you have here you have SSIS uh, drop down or tab and that's where you can click it and the very first option is Login. So you can initiate from anywhere. Here you on the left side you have containers each container has its own package level data flow tomorrow you have execute SQL task for each loop uh, sequence container uh, or any other task file system task or whatnot those will be available here and the here in the detail all the events are available according to the task so data flow might have different tasks uh, events uh, and uh, on uh, execute SQL task uh, you will have uh, different events because uh, the uh, requirement uh, or the work done uh, for each of the task is different so the events would be a little different uh, uh, some will be very generic and uh, some will be very specific uh, to the um, task level now here in the provider what we have provider type so we have five different types of uh, uh, logging that we can do I have done a t uh, uh, text file, I have done a SQL Server and I have done XML demos uh, and the videos are there if you want to take a look and how to use them. Now in this one what we will be doing, we will be using a SSIS log provider for SQL Server profiler. So what's going to happen uh, is going to create a trace file that can be opened with SQL Server profile. Uh, profiler so we are going to enable it create the trace file and then eventually we will go and open uh, with the SQL Server profiler now go to detail and select the specific events that you want to log so in my case I want to have more information such as on error failure and all those kind of thing and on d uh, data flow I want to have on error on information on post execution pre execution uh, validation and task failure so you do not want to put uh, all the events uh, in the log file that can ma make the log really big uh, and that uh, this information might not be really useful excuse me so you want to use uh, the events uh, which are required or they can be helpful while your pa when your package fail and you want to debug or troubleshoot your SSIS package now here uh, we go on the package level and then uh, select the SQL Server Profiler and add click this button now we are going to configure new connection it is going to create a trace file so we are going to create a new file every time and then we browse it and here I have some uh, created XML files created but I'm going to delete them delete these both of them so we would not have anything in this folder but just the trace file package one dot trc so that would be the extension for our tra trace file and the package one I gave the name the same name to the log file what is the name of my package so by just looking at the name of the pack uh, file I can tell this uh, file belong to which package hit open and hit ok now we are all set click here and uh, hit ok now run the SSIS package and then we will go back to the folder and see where the trace file is created stop your SSIS package go to the desktop and I have out output folder and I can we can see that the package one that TRC file is created and the, the size is 6 KB it means that there are there are some records or there's some information that is logged into this uh, uh, file one thing uh, if I read on my package one more time what's going to happen the size of the file is 6 KB as of now I'm gonna run it stop the package so now if we see that see that the file size is still the same so and uh, the last time it ran uh, as a 158 am so it is uh, seems like it is overriding it but I want to run one more time and make sure it is not pending uh, uh, or it is overriding so I'm not sure as well so right now it's 158 that's the time it was created 
and then now it is 159 so I want to run the package and see if it's just the file name uh, modified um, date modified change and the size remain the same so then I will assume that it overwrites it otherwise if it appended the size should increase that's the behavior when I uh, have done the logging for its text file and uh, XML it append the request to the file it doesn't override it so in this case what we can see we can see that the date modifies did change but uh, it override it the size is still the same what I can do instead of uh, it I let it override every time I want to create a, a trace file with the date time so I can keep uh, the information for each of the execution so how I can do it I can go to the uh, properties of uh, this uh, connection manager and th then go to let me do one more thing first before we go there so take this path and create a, a variable here we will call it log folder path why I'm creating this variable because uh, that's where I want to save uh, the path of the uh, folder and uh, in case uh, when uh, we will move the package to the production UAT SIT what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use uh, this variable in the configuration and I, I will be able to pass uh, the different folder paths uh, uh, on each of the environment so on each of environment our log files or will be going to different folders so that this variable will help us uh, to configure it instead of making the hard uh, co co hard coding uh, the changes at every time or uh, in the package or creating multiple copies of the packages so now I have written actually the uh, the expressions already I have used the same expression in creating uh, text files XML files so we are I am you gonna use the same one and I'm going to make some modification in front of you and tell you how it work now we click on package one dot trace that's the connection string go to expressions and then in the properties go to the connection string here we have log folder path and all that so I I'm, I have built the expressions already what I did I have a log folder path plus I'm adding uh, the package name to the folder uh, and then I'm putting uh, the date uh, time to it and then I have t t uh, XML I'm gonna change this one to TRC and evaluate it if you see here what I'm doing I'm just keeping uh, to the level of uh, hours and minutes so if I will go to seconds level sometime it create multiple files that's kind of bug and that's why I'm just keeping the log file or connection string create with the hours we have the date complete date and then I have hours it's 2 a.m. in the morning and the, the minute uh, is, two, two, uh, is uh, 2 minutes uh, right now what, what is going to happen uh, in the if uh, we run the packages multiple times uh, in the same minute uh, this will be overwritten if not then each time it will be creating a new um, log file hit ok hit ok we are good to go run the package now stop your package let's go to the folder and we see that uh, now that file is created with the date time and uh, when uh, we will run the next time if we want to run the next time we can run it and see that it will be creating a new file so each time it will create a new file uh, as long as uh, the it is in the next minute uh, so it was in the two o'clock and uh, after two minutes and this is a uh, two o'clock and after three minutes uh, so if you will be creating a, in the same minute it will override it otherwise it will uh, create a new one with the new minutes so let's uh, open one of these uh, this file and see the log information to open this file we have to initiate SQL Server Profiler so we have to uh, in my case I have a Windows 8.1 so I'm gonna go to search you and then write SQL Server Profiler once the SQL Server profile will open, I have to go files and open and then trace file. And then here I will be going to the desktop output folder 
and I can open any file which I like so let's let the latest one so here we can see the same information we have pre-execution validation and uh, uh, we have different events uh, and uh, user events uh, and we can see here the text data this information what you see here event class uh, user uh, uh, user event name operator source uh, source good execution start time end time date code uh, data code and data bytes and text data that's the same information uh, what we see in the sys uh, ssis uh, log table when you enable sql server login information uh, or sql server logging uh, uh, type of uh, um, for your SSIS package, uh, the, the table is created with these columns. Uh, there is one extra column, yes, that's called uh, ID, that's just the identity column, but the rest of these columns are the same, and the text data call is called message there. So, one thing, uh, um, I'm not sure, I mean, uh, you. you if uh, it is the same information uh, you will be putting in the files uh, and then go into the profiler and uh, use it you might wanna just go and enable by this uh, SQL server uh, logging and you will have all this information in table and you can always go and query and uh, in this case you will have to open each of the file and uh, take a look and uh, uh, if you have in table you can always filter with any of the column or package name or source or date time start time and all so this is how the SQL server uh, profiler uh, logging type worker in SSIS package. Uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.